I hate going to the barber shop. Can't you tell by my hair? Don't get me wrong, if I had nothing else to do, I would love to go to the barber shop. But nigga, when you go to the barber shop, it's probably because you have something to do. Here's my issue with the barber shop. Problem number one, they talk too damn much. I mean, if I wanted to listen to politics, I would watch CNN. Hell, or any other channel that has a bunch of white people on it arguing about something that we can't control. Or Dateline. Like, I've seen motherfuckers have birthdays in there. And when they really get into a conversation, you can forget about the haircut. Because that motherfucker will walk off. I seen one motherfucker go in there with a buzzer. And every time the barber got too far into his conversation, he would beep that motherfucker. Number two. I feel like you can't go into a barbershop if you don't know your ESPN stats. Like it's a bunch of sports analysts in that mug, and ain't nobody got a job in sports. One dude knew more about LeBron than I think LeBron did. He knew that nigga's mama's social security number. One dude came in there and knew so much about the NBA, I couldn't believe it. So I asked him, what does he do for work? This motherfucker said he worked at Payless. I said, it sounds like you're paying more attention to the NBA than your pocket, brother. Hey, nigga, you need to be paying less attention to the NBA and more attention to your career choices. And honestly, I'm not a fan of watching other men bounce around in loose and tight clothing. It's not for me. And last but not least, can you clean my damn collar off? Shit. My collar was so dirty, I thought a bear attacked me. It looked like I got a neck massage from Chewbacca with his forearms. I'm just glad they stopped giving out them hairy ass suckers to them kids after they get their hair cut. I went to one barber shop and they was playing video games and I couldn't get my hair cut until after the nigga beat him by 30 points. I sat in there for an hour and 35 minutes. That's why I said forget it, I'm just gonna grow out the Nelson Mandela. And don't get me wrong, I like the diversity in the barber shops, especially when it comes to conversations. Like I came in there for a ball fade and this nigga gave me relationship advice. Broke up with that bitch. So thank you barber shop. Now I know why Ice Cube didn't make a part three. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, like. If you don't like, like somewhere else. Peace. Haven't had enough? Why don't you check out some of these videos? Also go to OpenThoughts.com.